All right, General Motors' massive restructuring plan might not be as bad as originally projected. The automaker now saying it's working to save thousands of blue collar jobs right here in the U.S. Alan Campbell joins us now with the good news just in time yeah. for the holidays. Yeah, this is some great news for the automaker, yeah. Carolyn, because today General Motors announcing more than 80% of the American factory jobs it said were going away will now be saved. The company says blue collar workers will still lose jobs at four U.S. plants slated for closure next year, but most will be able to find employment at several other GM factories where jobs are being added to support new vehicles launching in 2019. They are the Flint Assembly Plant in Flint, Michigan, Lansing Grand River Assembly in Lansing, Toledo Transmission Operations in Toledo, Ohio, Bedford Casting Operations in Bedford, Indiana, Bowling Green Assembly in Bowling Green, Kentucky, Spring Hill Manufacturing in Spring Hill, Tennessee, and Arlington Assembly in Arlington, Texas. Obviously, though, some workers would have to uproot and move to other cities for those jobs. But last month, the company, you may remember this, announced plans to slash 14,000 jobs and shut down five plants in North America, including two right here in Metro Detroit. Since then, President Trump and several lawmakers have hammered GM over the moves. The company says the cuts are necessary for it to refocus production on autonomous and electric vehicles. GM, however, still plans to lay off roughly 8,000 white collar workers and another 2,600 factory workers in Canada. But again, some good positive news, at least moving forward for the automaker. Carolyn? You know, and I think a lot of people needed to hear that, especially right before the holidays. Absolutely, for sure. So some good news. Yes, indeed. Thank mm -hmm. you, Alan.